Nintendo dropped some late night bombs. Kojima says the magic MGS number and the Aussies can now gear up for a bloody good time. All this and White Wolves today on Hot Off The Grill. Hello and welcome to the June 23rd installment of Gamer Nodes Hot Off The Grill. Senior Editor Jason Finelli will be your server today as we deliver all of the steaming hot news from this past week. The latest episode of Nintendo Direct hit the internet at 12 a.m. Friday morning on the East Coast and there were plenty of midnight snacks to digest. Reggie fils began the broadcast by introducing the 3DS XL, a 3DS with screens 90% bigger than the 3DS currently available. The lack of a second analog stick is strange, but I guess that will mean a Circle Pad Pro XL accessory coming soon as well. 3DS XL launches August 18th for $199.99. The rest of the broadcast was dedicated to 3DS titles like Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask, which ships in November, and New Super Mario Bros. 2. But the big shock came from Nate Bildorf. The next Super Smash Bros. for both Wii U and 3DS will be co-developed with Namco Bandai. A dream team of Namco developers, including some from the Tekken, Soul Calibur, and Tails teams, will join longtime series head Masahiro Sakurai and his team at Sora with all of the new game's development. I'm not quite sure how to feel about this. On the one hand, a new direction from one of my favorite franchises could be a wonderful thing and the most refreshing thing to happen to the series since it first came out. On the other hand, it could turn into Team Ninja and Metroid Other M all over again. Either way, who's ready for some Mario vs. Pac-Man action? During an interview with French magazine IG, Metal Gear creator Hideo Kojima revealed that Metal Gear Solid 5 is now in development. The game will run on Kojima Productions' new Fox engine. And while Kojima hinted that Solid Snake may be involved, he did not say how the old hero will figure into the new game. Kojima also hints that the game will play very similarly to last year's Deus Ex Human Revolution, focusing on infiltration rather than high action. I am a big fan of this announcement, as I love me some Metal Gear, but what else could they do? MGS4 wrapped the series up in such a nice little bow, I can't imagine where they could take the series from here. I have full faith in Kojima and his staff, don't get me wrong. I'm going to reserve my excitement until I hear a little bit more. A dynamic duo of games lead the charge into retail stores this week, while a long-awaited extended cut for one of the year's most beleaguered games hits the digital front. Swing on over, grab that glass, and let's drink up what's on tap. The Amazing Spider-Man swings his way onto the consoles this week as the movie tie-in game launches just before the movie hits theaters. Can this new Spider-Man buck the bad movie game trend? Meanwhile, in Dubai, a major sandstorm covers a Conradian story of survival in Spec Ops The Line. The demo showed major narrative promise, a rare thing to find in a shooter, and the sand physics in and around the city are some of the best gaming today has to offer. In DLC news, the Mass Effect 3 extended cut ending is available to download on Tuesday. All 1.9 gigs of it. Two games and an extended ending DLC. What's on tap for you this week? Microsoft detailed the annual Summer of Arcade release schedule this week, with this year offering five big titles to choose from. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD kicks things off on July 18th, followed by Kinect game Wrecketeer on July 25th, Deadlight on August 1st, Hybrid on August 8th, and ending with Dust and Elysian Tale on August 15th. Each game will sell for 1,200 Microsoft points or $15, with the exception of Wrecketeer, which will be 800 points or $10. I know I'm definitely interested in Tony Hawk HD and Hybrid. I need to see a little more information on Deadlight and Dust and Elysian Tale, but this looks like a nice strong lineup of downloadable titles to get our gamers through the hot months. We'll see just how strong they are starting July 18th. Things are about to get a little bloodier down under as the Australian government has finally passed an R18 plus rating for video games. Australia has been getting the shaft for a long time because of the lack of rating, even though that particular rating had already existed for movies and other media types. Now that games are included in the mix, finally, Australians can look forward to games like God of War Ascension and Zombie U without having to worry about the government banning them outright. The import business may suffer, but many an Australian gamer can breathe a sigh of relief that they no longer have to look elsewhere to buy mature video game titles. This rating will officially go into effect on January 1st, 2013. Welcome to the party, Australia. Hope you enjoy it. This week, Capcom announced an HD remastering of one of their best PlayStation 2 offerings. So just in case you're not familiar with the game that's getting the beauty treatment, look no further than this week's Revisited. 
Okami is an absolute gem of a game winning multiple Best of 2006 awards and recognitions even when all three next gen systems were already available. The game follows Amaterasu, the sun goddess, as she tries to restore color to the world after it was cursed by the demon Orochi. Okami uses the Zelda formula of adventure games, one third action, one third platforming, and one third puzzle. The most unique feature is the celestial brush, which allows players to draw on the canvas of the world itself. The brush can be used to attack enemies, solve puzzles, or draw platforms to advance in a stage. The gameplay is excellent, but Okami is also one of the most visually impressive games on the PS2, so I can't imagine how fantastic it will look with this HD upgrade on the PS3. The return of Okami is fantastic news, but if you just can't wait that long, be sure to revisit the masterpiece on PS2 and Wii. With that Celestial Cuisine finished, this kitchen is closing up shop for this week. Tune in next time for more hot and juicy news stories, hot off the grill. Stay hungry, my friends. Thanks for watching.